Hi everybody, I'm Toby Kungle with AV Nation. I am on the show floor at Infocom 2023 in wonderful, humid Orlando, Florida. I'm here with John with Netgear. John, how are you today, sir? Great, Toby, good to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Absolutely, I always love coming to see Netgear. Are you kidding me? We have a great time. So, booth looks fantastic, it's beautiful. I love the black on black. I understand the whole uniform is black on black as well. We're is doing that plan this year? It's plans, part of our branding effort to make sure everybody's black and black. Well, like I said, every now and then, it, Somebody might stop Sales by. people are yeah. wearing uh, light blue pants. I kind of like that, right? The bottom line is they can wear whatever they want below. Oh. Netgear branding shirt on top. Okay. And then you're good to go. <laughs> I think you're going to have to talk with him later on. I'll have a that conversation. That cameo was Cody. We love Cody, by the way. We do. Um, so you guys had a lot of good announcements today. That was day one of the show. Traffic's yeah. been really good for you? Really busy. It's been really good. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're not going to talk boring stuff. Maybe a little bit. But I understand you guys got a new switch that just came out. I just was over there kind of watching a little bit of the demo. Yeah. What's the hot item? What's the cool thing? What's what's the neat little thing that nobody else is doing with it? Well, I'd say the neat thing is it's 12 switches actually, Toby, oh. not just one. So it's the M4350 series and it's 12 switches. Seven of them are out in July. The other five will be out in uh, December, January timeframe. So for this crowd, it doesn't mean as much, I'll say, but SMPTE 2110 support for broadcast is coming on those switches later in the year too. That's, that's a hot word That's right a pretty now. cool, yeah. yeah. So broadcast has NDI, they've got IPMX, they've got all kinds of things. Simply 2110 has been kind of the gold standard, of course. So we have that coming up on our switches later in the year. For here and now, the cool thing is there's these seven models right away and they go up to 100 gig uplinks. So it's multi-gig, one, two and a half, 10, 20, 40, 100 gigs. So whatever you need, half rack, full rack width, Boom. I mean, we got it covered. It, it's it's such an amazing how some of that has evolved in just the last couple of years for you guys, because you've taken all that bandwidth, listen to the customers, listen to the manufacturers that are trying to do AV over IP solutions, and you keep pushing that boundary just to stay a little bit in front of them, where we both know some guys are trying to catch up to you guys, which oh, I yeah. think is really, really good. Because people know Netgear, but they don't know Netgear Pro AV and do different things from that perspective. Yep. I, I saw a lot of the powered by Netgear signs out there. I think I good. saw over a hundred in the last couple hours. So There's probably way more than that. You guys support a lot of the other manufacturers in the, in the booths here, right? Absolutely, and that's that's been a fun thing for us. We've been a small presence often. This year we're a little larger presence because we we know we got to step it up and show that love for the community. But for us, having switches all around the show floor, there's even wireless access points that we make that are on shows like ours up on the corner here too. So not just our wired products, our wireless products are also making a hit. Uh, people just know that we can support them at the booth because everything's networked at the booth. Not to mention their own products of AV over IP, but just their networking infrastructure at the booth they need us for. And we bring a bunch of switches to shows. We hand them out like, you need a switch? We got a switch. Because you never know, last minute you're going to need something. Yeah. And then, like you say, powered by Netgear, they're happy to show that. They're happy to show the love that we're helping them figure out the complex part about AV over IP. So you wireless. Do I, can I get on the wireless right now? Absolutely. <laughs> There's yeah. like 5,000 wireless. I know, right? right on the yeah. show. Ours is called Netgear. <laughs> <laughs> Simplicity, I love the it. The only one. Yeah. So, obviously you have a lot of different products here. I understand that you guys are really focused on AV over IP. Part of that announcement that came out was some of the big three players for that technology. Yep. You talked about Crestron, you talked about uh, Visionary Solutions, and AMX, I Very believe. good, yep, yep. I remembered all three correctly. You did your time. homework, nice And job. I understand there might be a fancy logo that's in the software when they're connected. That's really the fun part. So it started actually with Shure Audio a couple years ago, where we auto-detect auto the Shure devices and on the switch in the user interface, we'll put a little S, the Shure logo. So same thing now for Visionary or Crestron or AMX. You'll see a little logo there in the, in the corner of that port. So you know that port is configured for that particular device. It makes it so simple. That's auto, auto detection of that uh, stuff. Let's do a simple profile. Yeah, I mean, your configuration of your guys' switches are, I mean, everybody's afraid of it, it's, I get it, but it really is user friendly. Yeah. If you haven't taken some of the courses online, they're fantastic. I've went through it. Uh, the Network Fundamentals course, I don't remember the exact name of it. Um, but, yep. you know, I'm a fairly technical person myself, but it was really great to see how you guys were adapting to the AV world where they're still learning as much as we don't want to admit it, learning some of the IT layer three stuff, yep. being comfortable with it. Simply 2110 is a big push, obviously, for broadcast. Yep. But, you know, AV over IP for the regular AV integration has been around a while, right? But we continue to push that envelope with yep. configuration and monitoring and software. And I think it's really great what you guys get to do with a lot of that. We're so, trying to. Yeah, it's not easy. And I know that a long time ago we were talking about it. We had to train the IT audience on AV and train the AV audience on IT. We had a master class this morning here at, at Infocom, two hour class, Laurent's teaching it, and there's all kinds of questions. You know people don't quite get what IGMP is yet, or they don't know what multicast really is and how to set up a switch. So that's why we did those automatic profiles. 
but there's a lot of education that has to occur. So our academy, netgear.academy is a great way. Uh, SDVUE Academy is a bunch of good courses as well. There's all kinds of that. And our own pro AV, pro AV design team can help you figure that stuff out as well. Yeah, you know, that's a good point. Like I've, I've known that a lot of my team specifically have reached out to them within 24, 48 hours. They're back usually with a full design. A lot yep. of times it's got schematics behind it. Here's the gotchas, here's what we would do, here's what we'd recommend, here's maybe an option, one way to do it, here's maybe a better way to do it, just depending on what the client's needs are. That to me is such a huge value add for the partners that you guys yeah. have because as people are learning the technology and embracing what you guys from a product selection, you're giving them kind of a secondary product expert to sit next to their engineers, sit next to their salespeople yep. and drive what the client's needs really are and make a really fantastic solution for them. Just want, we, may, we want to make sure everybody's successful. Of course, we want to sell switches, but we don't want you having to come back every job and try to figure out everything from scratch. So we'll help you along the way and make you be successful and then you can get out there and do it on your own. I love it. This is the new switch line that was announced this morning. This is it. I understand that there's, there's 12 total. You got four right here. These ones are live and in person. There's some cool software tricks with this. Let's go, fire away. Here's the deal. So this is actually a group of 12 models we've introduced. Uh, the M4350 series, uh, on a heritage of all the others from 2016, I think, that go back to the 4300. So these look like a little darker. They're kind of cool looking, meant for traditional IT kind of switches with ports in the front, kind of standard that way. But they have a range of, of capabilities from one gig, two and a half gig, 10 gig, 20. 40 and 100 gig, I think, uplink. So every situation you need for AV over IP, whether you're doing high-end, you know, uncompressed video like SDVOE or Crestron NVX or AMX or Visionary, whatever, um, you can fit them into a network switch, neck gear switch. So you see some are like half rack. One down here is a half rack width. Some are full rack width, so varying sizes. Um, you can put a couple of half racks together in one rack, they kind of clip together, which is kind of fancy. Uh, but the thing is right now, seven of them are being released in July, okay. then five more later in the year. And of the five later in the year, a couple of those will do the SMPTE 2110 protocol, but people have been asking us for years, the more broadcast AV over IP standard. Um, so not as much for Infocom crowd, but for broadcast crowd, that'll be coming out later in the year. The broadcast piece though, it's it's a hot topic right now, right? Because a lot of the AV integrators are dabbling in broadcast. Yep. There are some larger broadcast companies that are still pushing out there, and it's been a very limited switch line for mm -hmm. SMPTE 2110 standard. It's relatively growing, which is good, and it's good to hear that you guys are doing the same thing, but yeah. it's it's kind of that hot word that I think we all, don't, like, what were they talking about, the VGA sunset 15 years oh, yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah. I feel like we're on the flip side of that for SMPTE 2110, where we're trying to drive the broadcast guys into AV over IP that really the AV world's already been doing for over a decade now, pretty consistently, right? Yep. But their uncompressed bandwidth requirements are huge. And timing. And timing is massive from that Because we know from concerts and things like that, if there's a screen up on the concert, you don't want that out of sync, uh, even no. a little bit. And it's really annoying. Uh, live and media entertainment, you cannot be out of sync. Somebody is not going to be very happy with these. Not good. And you look at broadcast now, just over the airwaves right now, and there's some delay in field reporters. Yeah. It's acceptable. So I think that's going to help probably start the trend to be, yeah. well, figure this out. So they have it figured out. You just don't have to spend a, a gob of money for that high-end switch. Yeah. We'll be able to let you do the same sort of thing for... Uh, a lot less money on a Netgear switch. Cool. So I see some SFP modules here. All that stuff is customizable. Everything from that perspective. Yeah. Yep. I mean. Oh, another thing I forgot to talk about. Speaking of broadcast, too, is redundancy. Oh yeah. So with the 4350s now, they have uh, optional power supplies. So you have one built in, and you can spec two or three other ones. Two, I think, and other ones. Some other models, depending on the model. So you can have redundant power supply, or and or also more PoE budget, because PoE is also bit to be a big thing. These go up to PoE plus plus which is 90 watts per port in some models, and like 3,400 watts of power budget. So we got plenty, we got you covered. PoE++, who ever thought that that was gonna be an acronym in AV when PoE came out? Right. We could barely power a phone, let alone what we're doing nowadays. And now plus, 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 plus. <laughs> Next Come thing on. you know, we're doing full 110 voltage over it and everything else. Yeah. It's probably coming. One cable. Yeah, it's, I, like I mean, that. there's a lot of integrators out there that are or manufacturers that are building products to use that. 80, 90 watts to, to power stuff. There's like powered speakers, amplifiers now. Oh yeah. A lot of speakers now are getting to be a PoE too. There's actually a powered LED wall over there that's on the show floor that I saw. Oh nice. That they're using PoE++ to power the panels. Well, our demos our demos here at the show, we have two demo kiosks. Yeah. Where you demo that engaged software that controls our switches. Note the segue. Uh, but also those are all in one PCs that are PoE powered as well. So our kiosk has one plug for power and data, and then the, they're powered at the 
demo, the key, kiosk. So. so segue. Oh yeah. Software. So speaking of software, so we have the all these switches have had the AV interface built in. We're going to start calling it the AV OS. It's really unlike anything else. It's its own OS for these switches that was built into the switch. We pulled that out of there to its own software platform called Engage. The Engage software is going through enhancements all the time. It's software based, so it's regularly up being updated. So the newer version lets you do some things you couldn't do before in the software. You can use it for multiple switches. So like all these switches, you get all four or five of these switches, you can log into one interface and the, it will find all the switches, let you onboard them, configure the ports the way you want to. So it's profile based we talked about for like Crestron or AMX or Visionary. You can assign a profile to certain ports on each switch and have the software just download all the information, all the configuration information to each switch individually and you're good to go. So a lot of things are really making it easier for an IT person or an AV person, either way. That's great. I mean, it makes it simple, right? And they're not worried yeah. about it and the deployment time's faster, saves time, saves money, happy clients, All happy that. life. Let's it's consistent too. Yeah. That's, that's what it is, yeah. It's never happy wife, happy life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, happy life. I mean, yeah. there's the happy wife thing comes in play a little bit too. It Maybe does. not with network switches, unless you're doing something at home. I don't know. Let's talk I mean, to the system configurator. I'm sure your home is probably pretty crazily built out, right? No. Simple. <laughs> simple life. Simple life. Well, John, thank you very much for showing me this stuff. I think it's great. Congratulations on the rollout of this. Um, again, the booth looks fantastic and beautiful. Thank you. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your show. You too. Thanks, uh, Toby. I'm Toby Tungle with AV Nation Media. If you're looking for more of what we're doing on the show floor, go check out avnation.tv.